So, I know it's been a tragic week for Irwin stands. Let's rub salt in the wound. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Let's just talk about why Levi chose Armin. Maybe that is rubbing salt in the wound after all, but honestly, these have been the most interesting, and engaging, and freaking beautiful Irwin scenes we've ever gotten, so let's talk about why Levi chose Armin instead of Irwin. So, even the other characters, including Armin himself, think that saving Irwin makes more sense. He's the commander. His achievements in leading the Survey Corps are truly outstanding. Designing the best new formations, minimizing casualties, and recruiting more soldiers than ever. Eren lists Armin's credentials, and so does Mikasa, but Hanji shoots them down, citing the obvious reason. Though Armin shows a lot of promise, Erwin has experience and leadership skills that Armin lacks. So, why does Levi choose Armin? Why does he choose Armin when everyone but Eren and Mikasa agreed that Erwin was the better choice? There are two sides to this choice. First, why Armin is objectively the better option, and second, why Levi himself made the decision to save Armin instead of Erwin. First, let's look at why Armin is objectively the better option, using the evidence that Levi would have had at the time of his decision. First bit of evidence. The conversation Levi and Erwin have before Erwin leads his final charge. That conversation gave Levi crucial information about Erwin that the other characters did not have. Erwin says, to ask these young soldiers to die, it would take an expert con man and a whole slew of lies. And when he talks about dying, his first concern is that he'll never learn what was in the basement. Levi's face when Erwin starts talking like that is just pure confusion. Though Levi and Erwin have worked side by side for years, Levi never truly understood what drove Erwin until now. He tells Levi that all those years, he fought only for himself, and that when he inspired others with his lofty ideals of dedicating their hearts to humanity, that was all a lie. Then Erwin expresses doubt that he was even right about his dreams. The whole reason he fights is because he's not even sure if he's right, and wants proof that he's right. Erwin wonders if his dream was a, quote, childish delusion, and Levi's face is just heartbreaking. He never knew this was who Erwin really was. Even in the end, Levi is forced to make the decision to die for Erwin, telling him to, quote, give up on his dream and die, because Levi will destroy the Beast Titan, assuring him that his death will be helpful in some way. Erwin smiles in relief and thanks Levi, in part for making the difficult choice for him. Levi never truly understood Erwin until now, and perhaps he doesn't like what he sees. Now compare what Levi knows of Erwin to what Levi knows of Armin, with particular focus on the scene where Levi is standing on that roof, needing to make the choice between Armin and Erwin. The conversation between Aaron and Levi over their dying friends is integral. Aaron insists that Armin is not full of hate and revenge like Aaron is, but hope. Levi realizes this is an unselfish hope that Erwin never had. Erwin just needed to know he was right, and didn't really believe he was right and needed proof of the truth so that he could believe that he didn't cause his own father's death for nothing. Armin really believed he was right about the outside world. He had an unquenchable hope about the beauty of the outside to the very end, and total faith in Aaron and the others. Levi realizes that the crucial difference between Armin and Erwin is this. Erwin couldn't choose to sacrifice himself and his dreams, and needed to pin all the difficult decisions on Levi, including the decision of who to give the serum to in the first place, while Armin is completely willing to die for the cause. Erwin says that it's all a pretty lie that the living make the deaths of their comrades meaningful, but Armin, to his final breath, believed that Aaron living on and seeing the ocean would give his death meaning. He, quote, entrusts everything to Aaron, his life and his dreams. Armin's willingness to make the choice himself is telling. Erwin never truly believed in any of the ideals he abused to recruit Levi and lead thousands to their doom. Armin truly does believe, as Levi remembers overhearing him talking passionately to Aaron and Mikasa of the sea that he's so certain they'll see if they could just make it to the outside. Levi can see that Armin fully intended to sacrifice himself. No one would get that burned by the Colossal Titan unless they meant to. Though Armin does show moments of hesitation, when it comes to humanity, he doesn't have Erwin's selfish hesitation and desire for self-preservation. 
However, as viewers, we know there is also a glaring similarity between Armin and Erwin in these last few episodes. They both lie, and they lie a lot. Isn't that the whole reason Levi doesn't believe in Erwin anymore? Yes, but again, there's a crucial difference. What they lie about is different, and the reasons they lie are different. Armin lies to Aaron and his friends about his intentions to die because he knows Aaron will try to stop him. He self-deprecates, saying he's not a hero or anything, and so will have to give in quickly, and that he hasn't unselfishly given up his dream to see the ocean, when in reality, he has. He says, have I ever lied to you in my life, knowing full well that he's lying through his teeth. However, throughout the show, he's always been willing to sacrifice his own life for what he believes is a greater cause. To him, the cause of saving humanity was always the most important thing, more important even than his lifelong dream to see the ocean. Aaron says to himself, not once, but twice, that he should have known what Armin was planning to do before he did it. It's been in Armin's character to sacrifice his life for ideals, and as Aaron mournfully reflects, Armin never tries to flee, unlike Erwin, who was searching for a way out early on and needed Levi to make the final decisions for him. Erwin's lies were perhaps more explicitly emphasized, as he is leading more cadets to their deaths with what he full-on believes were lies, screaming encouragements founded on lies at the top of his lungs. Erwin lies to the recruits about their deaths having meaning, or at least he believes he is lying, to inspire them for his own selfish cause. He tells Levi that he fought solely for himself, and even earlier in the mission, he thinks to himself that, even if the mission fails, perhaps he can crawl to the basement and find out the truth before he dies. What he truly cares about in the end is the truth, with saving humanity as a convenient and virtuous byproduct. Even in the end, Erwin never gave up on his dream, never let go of it, as his final words are him hallucinating about being back in the classroom, theorizing about what's outside the walls. Levi realizes then that even if he resurrects Erwin, Erwin will still be the same man he was before he led the charge, and Levi now knows that that man is not necessarily one who deserves to be followed. He'll still be the same Erwin who wants his answers more than he wants to save humanity and can't let go of his selfish desires for the sake of a larger cause. Therefore, Levi concludes, the one who can save humanity is not Erwin, a man whose ultimate interest doesn't lie in doing so, but an Armin, who has that undeniable hope for humanity and the willingness to sacrifice even his dreams for it. Now, why does Levi specifically choose Armin instead of Erwin? We know that Erwin has been one of his closest friends and companions ever since he left the underground city. So even though he's so reserved and composed in these scenes, this is really a heartbreaking day for Levi as well. As we know from the OVA No Regrets, Levi was recruited by Erwin under Erwin's standard propaganda, dedicate your heart to humanity. And only now does he realize he's dedicated his heart to a self-professed con man who didn't even believe the pretty words he was spouting. In a way, he's been following Erwin because after losing his friends, it was the only thing he believed would give their deaths meaning. And he believed that because Erwin told him that. Levi was clinging to Erwin's philosophy for years and now Erwin's telling him that Erwin doesn't even believe it. And to be told the person who gave you meaning in life for years was lying when he gave it to you is freaking terrifying. It was a huge moment of courage and character growth for Levi to be able to let go of Erwin at all, much less let him die himself. Right before Levi chooses, he remembers Kenny's last words that quote, everyone is a slave to something. He realized in that moment that in a way, Levi had been a slave to Erwin and his lies, and he's breaking free by choosing Armin. Directly after he remembers Kenny's words, he remembers Armin saying there's more to life than slavery. Erwin was a slave to the truth, his need to justify himself, but Armin, if he's a slave, is a slave to the idea of freedom. If it's slavery, it's a much more fitting slavery for the savior of humanity. One of the most interesting lines about Erwin is when Levi says Erwin was forced to be a devil, because that was what they wanted from him. Levi finally sees Erwin for who he truly is, but has complete compassion for him instead of hate, which was really an eye-opening moment for me regarding Levi's character. He does deny Erwin his dream, but also absolves him of some of the responsibility of the subjectively evil acts he committed in pursuit of this dream, which is a mercy, considering everything we've just learned about Erwin. Erwin guiltily imagined himself standing on a literal mountain of his comrades' corpses, and confessed to Levi he'd been lying for years to get people to join the cause for selfish reasons, and he now feels the accusation of his fallen comrades. Levi was one of those people he deceived, 
but Levi grants him the quote, rest of death, and asks Flock to forgive Erwin. Humanity's strongest soldier has no shortage of compassion, and recognizes that Erwin contributed greatly to the cause of saving humanity, even if it was for the wrong reasons. Levi's personal reason for choosing Armin instead of Erwin in the end was mercy. So that's the end of the video, guys. I'm finally feeling inspired again with this show, so I'm definitely planning more Attack on Titan videos, probably also delving into the content of the manga, especially post-time skip character analyses, because that just really tickles my brain. Anyway, don't forget to leave this video a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more Attack on Titan videos, and leave a comment on what you thought of Levi's choice, and or what Attack on Titan topics you want me to cover in the future, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye! Levi finally sees Erwin for who he truly is, but has complete pa- Whoa, not complete passion. <laughs>